Hello Pisces, this is Renee and welcome back. Pisces, this is going to be the next 48 hours. What's coming towards you the next 48 hours? What you can expect? This is a general reading, so it can cover love, career, finances, whatever the cards bring out. So, Pisces, if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Okay, what do we have for Pisces? We have service. I feel good when I can help others. Okay. And we have envy. I am the same as everyone, but with different challenges. Okay. One more card for Pisces. What's going on? Okay, this one. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness, growth, beautiful. Okay, Pisces. I feel like with this energy you have, you're growing, you're expanding, you're searching for your options. I also feel you're very happy at the moment. I feel a lot of happiness around you. I'm aware that having happy, that being happy means that I am on the right path. And that's exactly how I'm feeling, Pisces, that you are definitely on the right path. Um, let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Get a message for Pisces, please. This one wanted to come out right away. The Six of Wands, definitely happiness, success, growth, being recognized. What else do we have for Pisces? Wow, okay. We have the Ten of Wands, the world. The Four of Swords. And at the bottom, we have the Two of Cups. Okay, Pisces, what I feel like in the next 48 hours, what you don't expect to find is you may find some kind of union, some kind of friendship, some kind of partnership. Um, this may be love coming towards you, Pisces, but this is something that you're really not looking for at the moment. You really don't expect to find it, but it finds you. Along with that, Pisces, I see you moving forward. You, you are on the right path. You, you're gaining a lot of strength. You're in your authority. You're creating a vision for your life that is building success. I feel like you're mastering something. You're in total control. You know, the emperor, he not only takes care of himself or he's in control, but he also takes care of the ones around him. That's why I feel like the service card is here because service is providing some kind of care, you know, some kind of generosity to others. So I feel like that's kind of the position that you're in at the moment, Pisces. I feel like this is bringing some kind of reward, some kind of recognition, being seen, being known, being like the center of attention. And I feel like you're definitely at the spotlight. You are being rewarded for some kind of burden that you that you bear, you know, I feel like you have a lot of priorities, but you also have a lot of goals. When I'm looking at this card, I feel like these are your goals that you're carrying. These are the achievements you want to achieve. These are the things that you're trying to finish. 
that you're trying to gain success on. So I feel like this reading is very beautiful because not only are you gaining success, but I feel like you're you're really reaching for the stars. You're reaching for those goals to be achieved, to be accomplished. And with the world card here, I feel like you very well are on the right path of achieving those goals, of finding your success, completing the lessons, and moving into this new adventure, this new chapter that is unfolding after your achievements are met. I, I really feel like, you know, this Four of Swords energy, I feel like this is focusing on yourself and the things that you hold dear to you. You're recovering from any failures, any mistakes from the past. And you're really learning those lessons with this world card. You're learning what, what it takes to be successful. What it takes to achieve your goals. You know, this beautiful energy. Okay, let's take a look. Not that this even needs to be clarify but we're going to clarify anyway because we want to dive, dive a little deeper okay okay pisces okay spirit give me a message for the next 48 hours for pisces to clarify and give advice for pisces the next 48 hours tell me about this six of wands <laughs> the Nine of Swords in reverse. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Hermit in reverse. Okay. Wow. This is this is great energy. We also have the Five of Swords at the bottom. So I feel like this is victory. This is definitely victory. Look at this. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. You're facing your fears. You are... Battling those demons that may have been holding you down. He's fighting off the dragon. He's not fearful. He's not having nightmares. He's not having worry. Because he knows that he can accomplish his goals. The five of pentacles in reverse. You're taking back your energy. You no longer feel left out in the cold. You no longer feel like you're lacking anything. You feel like you're achieving. Like you're gaining. So it's very beautiful energy to see those two cards in reverse because those are two kind of negative energies, especially the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords can be definitely a negative energy. And to have that come out in reverse is really nice. Okay, we also have the Hermit, but we have that in reverse. So I feel like you're not isolating yourself. You're getting out there and you're making moves. You are not thinking about those past failures that you've already learned the lesson from. You don't have to go into the quiet spaces to dwell on things to get the answers. Because you, Pisces, are intuitive enough. You're intuitive enough to already know the answer. So... For you, Pisces, I feel like you don't have to go into that isolation or into that quiet space to find your wisdom or to find the answers. Because those answers come very clearly for you through your intuition, through your introspection, without having to isolate. It's beautiful. Okay, let's get some more messages. Spirit, give me a message for this Ten of Wands. Message for the Ten of Wands, please. Okay, the Two of Pentacles. Wow. The Ace of, um, Ace of Wands. And the Death card. Wow. Okay. That's why I was feeling like these are achievements. These are your goals that you're carrying, Pisces. Definitely. Because look, we have the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. 
you're you're setting your priorities and you're setting them so clearly because you're following your own destiny you are making very wise decisions and you're being driven to take the lead in pursuing those decisions you know you I, I, I'm feeling like Pisces that you are inspired to take action right now because of these creative ideas that may be just flowing to you you know and I feel like whatever these ideas are whether it be in love in business um, in your life in general whatever these inspired ideas are I feel like you can gain success on anything that you touch because you are growing you're growing you're totally transforming into what it is you want look how big and bright that Sun is so I feel like you know with this death card this may be something that is bringing huge change if there are endings there are very bright beginnings kind of like being reborn in a situation Pisces because you you're like making a completion you've learned all the lessons you need to learn you've achieved your goals or you're about to okay okay let's clarify this world card for Pisces tell me more about this world card please spirit tell me more about this world card okay yeah look at this your past failures your past mistakes this could be heartbreak and love You've learned the lessons from those past failures. You've learned the lessons and you now you're you're like turning the page. You're going to a new chapter. You're not dwelling. <laughs> Look at this. You're not dwelling on the old. You're looking for the new. You know, you're looking for that harmony taking control of the situation finding your balance found finding your healing and I feel like this has to happen within divine timing and I feel like Pisces this is your time this is your time for healing this is your time for accomplishing your goals gaining your healing look at this gaining your abundance finding your stability setting new goals new achievements because the old ones you're already you know running past those so I feel like there's a lot of wealth a lot of abundance and I'm not just saying material wise Pisces I'm saying in general abundance as in you know material wealth as well as good health good family you know the having stability having that longevity in your success okay let's take a look at this four of swords energy for Pisces tell me more about this four of swords for some reason I feel like saying recovery you're, you're in some kind of recovery okay we have the Knight of Cups the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords definitely some kind of truth is coming through 
I feel like you're not only recovering, but you're about, yeah, <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. You're about to get a very important offer or gift. A very important offer or gift during this recovery time that you're going through. Now, like I said, this may be, for some of you, this may be in love. This may be in your career. Um, but I feel like this is a very, very important offer that you are receiving. That's going to bring you a lot of support. A lot of stability. You're going to have friends along the way that are going to hold you up and build you up. But... This is definitely going to bring you clarity in the situation to where a lot of truth is going to come out at this time. I feel like this is kind of cutting through barriers, cutting through old wounds to heal them completely. And I hope this makes sense to someone this needs to resonate with. Um, but I'm really feeling like a lot of things are going to become very, very clear. It's going to make sense finally with this offer that's coming through, this blessing, this huge blessing that's coming through. You know? See, look, we have the, the Three of Cups right under. So definitely support family, clarity, a new perspective, building wealth, mastering your craft, planting seeds, wishes coming true, beautiful energy, Pisces. So I, I feel like this is your time. This is your time to shine, Pisces. Okay, let's get some more cards. Let's get another another row for Pisces. What else do we have for Pisces? Next 48 hours. Next 48 hours, please, for Pisces. And <laughs> yet yeah, the chariot. You're moving into something beautiful. The two of cups. There's that love coming through that we saw in the beginning. We have the Justice card and the Page of Swords. So definitely, Pisces, you're moving into this new destiny, this new path that you may not realize where it's leading you. But I do feel like along the way, love is coming your way. And love is something that you may be least expecting at this moment, but love is finding you. Okay? And I feel like with this Justice card, I feel like you are on the right path. You are wanting to lead in the right direction. And I not only feel like you're leading yourself into this right direction, I feel like you're leading um, whoever is connected to you, with you, if that makes sense. Okay? And with the... Um, with the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords energy. I feel like you're on to something. You're on to something that's just beginning. Maybe you are curious about a new project or a new opportunity. But I feel like with this Page of Swords, I feel like your curiosity is kind of leading you down this new path into something that's going to bring you a lot of success, a lot of wealth and abundance. Okay? Look at this. There you are, Pisces. The star. So, along your path, this is wishing on your star. Something that you wished about. You're creating miracles in your life, Pisces. Because you are the spotlight. You are shining that star. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify a little bit for Pisces. Okay. Tell me 
what Pisces needs to know in the next 48 hours. Okay, tell me about this chariot. Tell me more about this chariot spirit. Wow, okay. Okay, we have the temperance card. This came out reversed again, okay. And we also have the ten of wands in reverse. So, now take notice of this ten of wands. This ten of wands, they've dropped all of their burdens. Their burdens were too much to carry. So, they had to lay down their burdens because it was overwhelming. It was too much. It brought too much stress to their life. This Ten of Wands is in reverse. Okay? Now look at this. The Temperance is upright. So I feel like the path that you're moving into is your path of balance and healing. Your path, your, your path of finding your success. And, you know, it just flowing your direction okay the nine of swords in reverse you're you may be still battling your demons but i feel like you're conquering them you know you're not dwelling into that dark space you're not fearful of what's to come you know, you're, you're not stressed. You're not worried. You, because you feel like that balance, that harmony is kind of overflowing into any worry. You know, so you're not letting it bother you. And I feel like these, these burdens, the stress, you're releasing that energy. Because the temperance is providing you with balance as you go along your path okay let's take a look at this two of cups tell me more about this two of cups for pisces the next 20 excuse me the next 48 hours i don't know why i wanted to say 24 um the two of cups we have the two excuse me the page of wands the five of pentacles in reverse and the two of pentacles upright at the bottom, we have the Hierophant. Now, it's something very interesting about the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a very spiritual guide. He's a teacher, you know, and he is sitting in between two pillars. Those pillars are the pillar of disobedience and the pillars of obedience. So, He's sitting in between those two paths, but the Hierophant, he's sitting in between because he wants to choose the right direction. He wants to make the right choice. And it could be that you're, you're being led upon your beliefs. You may have deep beliefs in something um, maybe in something that you're growing, something that you are trying to achieve. But I feel like your beliefs are very high. And Pisces, I feel like, you know, with this, with this Two of Cups and this Page of Wands, I feel like there's someone that you may have walked away from. You may have, you know, walked away from them a little prematurely before anything really felt right you know but I feel like this two of cups energy is coming back around because maybe you left this two of cups too early before you could find happiness okay so the universe is giving you a chance to pursue this two of cups again because maybe at the moment, it wasn't the right timing for this Two of Cups, you know. So now it's making a return. It's coming back. And maybe before you felt a little left out. Maybe you felt a little inadequate. Like you weren't able to offer something to this Two of Cups. But with this Five of Pentacles in reverse, you're no longer lacking. You know, you feel like you have enough. 
And with this Two of Pentacles, I feel like you're finally able to set your priorities on what it is you want for the future. If you want this couple that's going on this ship, you know, I feel like you're finally able to set your priorities. Okay. With this Justice card. Tell me more about this Justice card, Spirit. Okay. We have the world. Again, you have the world twice in this reading. The Fool. So with this completion, you have a new beginning. And we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, the Hierophant is on the bottom again. So I feel like these are still your beliefs. This is something that you're still obtaining. You're still on the right path. You're moving in the right direction, Pisces. You're willing to take the lead, you know, to balance the scales with this Justice card. And if you have some kind of contract or something like that, I feel like, you know, the look over the contract is going to go in your favor, okay? Because we have a completion. And along with this completion, we have a new beginning, a new adventure. Taking a new leap. You know, having new faith. Something being revived. Not really knowing where the destination is going to lead you. But after this completion, you're like ready for this new beginning, this new adventure. Okay, and we have the Eight of Swords. So even if there's a little fear behind things, I feel like you're able to break those barriers because, you know, she's blindfolded, but she's, she's tied loosely. She can move if she wants to, but she's being surrounded by her past mistakes and the lessons she learned from those mistakes. So I feel like you're kind of surrounding yourself by those lessons. You're not being really tied down or boxed in, but you haven't really let down those guards that created those lessons, those past failures. And maybe that's something that you need to do with this um, Page of Swords. That curiosity, I feel, is going to spark something that's going to make you let go of these Eight of Swords and pick up that one large sword and spark your curiosity. You know? Okay. And what do we have for this Eight of Swords spirit? Give me a message for this Eight of Swords energy. Okay. And yeah, we have the, the Three of... The Three of... Uh, swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Justice card again. Wow. So definitely, look what we have on the bottom. Happiness, abundance, celebration, reunions. So I feel like you're going to be reunited in some kind of situation. Okay? Okay, with this Page of Swords... We have the Three of Swords. But this Three of Swords is a little different. Because the Swords have been taken out of the heart. They're now dropping down. And the heart is being bandaged. The heart is being healed. So I feel like, you know, I feel like this Three of Swords is like healing to your past failures. And I just like I was saying with this Eight of Swords, I feel like you're going to drop these Eight Swords and pick up this large um, Page of Sword, this one sword. And that's why I feel like, you know, with this, this Three of Swords energy, you're dropping those swords and you're picking up this one big sword. The one that's going to spark your curiosity. Okay? Okay, we also have the Knight of Swords. So I feel like this is something that you're going to pursue. This is something that you're going to have victory on. You're going to get a lot of clarity. You're going to move forward with this energy. 
the Knight of Swords is also really choosing your battles wisely. You know, not just jumping in head first, but choosing your battles wisely. Okay? We also have the Justice card, so I feel like you definitely have victory in this situation. This is something that's really going to go into your favor. This is karma and reward that's coming towards you. Okay? And if you notice, they're holding a sword up as well. Okay? As long as, as well as the scales. So I feel like this is definitely going in your favor. Okay, let's get some Monology cards for Pisces. A final message for Pisces, please. For the next 48 hours. Final message for Pisces. What do they need to know? A time to give rather than take. Okay. You and your loved ones are safe. And look at the bigger picture. So yeah, and I feel like Pisces, you know, you need to have a, a very good perspective of the road that you're traveling. But Spirit is letting you know that you're being protected along your journey. You are... Um, you know, a time to give rather than take. That goes along with service. So you may be in some kind of service, some kind of job that is, you know, giving more than receiving. Or this could be just your nature. Okay. At the bottom, we also have the end of a tough cycle approaches. So I really feel like this is you having your breakthrough getting that beautiful moment when your success is finally arriving something that you may have been waiting on that's along with this growth card you know i feel like you're growing and expanding into this new uh, chapter in your life okay okay pisces this is your next 48 hours if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. If you look back, you'll see that I have, you know, your um, all the signs uploaded for February. So, yeah, take a look at that if you need more clarity on your situation. You may get more messages. It may become more clear by taking a look at that. And Pisces, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.